Uh, it's 1033. I'm going to call the special meeting of the board of selectmen to order. First item of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Charlie, is that you on the phone? Yes. No, that sounds like Marie. Marie, yeah, that's me. Hi. Okay, so I've got um, Selectman's Bowser, Muska, Baker, and D'Souza. Uh, we're waiting on Selectman Nordell, but um, that may or, he may or may not be able to join us. We only have one item of business on our uh, agenda, which is the awarding of the bid for the Community Development Block Grant. Um, and Linda Collins is actually logging in now. So I'm gonna have her explain a little bit about what the projects are that she uh, plans to use the funding for. While she's getting connected, uh, while she's getting connected, what you guys should know is that what we're doing is we're awarding the bid for the, the administration of the grant to the same consultant that we've used for CDBG projects in the past. Volume. Uh, hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Okay. Yeah. Linda, I'm muted. Okay. Can you hear us? I'm, I'm here. Thank you. Okay. So I was just saying that what we're doing is um, we are awarding the grant for the administration of the CDBG grant application. Um, we have one applicant, uh, and it's the same firm that we've used in the past that administered the last round of CDBG uh, funding that did the shower conversion at Park Hill. Um, but I thought it might be helpful if you could explain to the board and for the record what the intended use of the CDBG grant funds would be. Yes, absolutely. So um, what we are proposing to do with the funds if we receive them is to replace uh, the siding on all the apartment buildings. They are deteriorating. And uh, also replace all the mini splits in all the apartments, uh, which provide uh, heat and air conditioning. And also um, upgrade all the accessible units to make sure that they are ADA compliant. And um, we also have the opportunity along with this money through the CDBG to um, access money through the state for state housing, um, which would also provide another um, $4 million for a total of $6 million we would be eligible for, depending on if our projects qualify. And if not, we could uh, certainly work with um, the housing development team to uh, see what uh, we would be eligible for in terms of projects. And I'm sure we could find something that um, would be beneficial to Park Hill, of course. Well, you guys, you guys are doing great work up there. And the, the group that you reference is the housing development team. That is actually the company that um, was the only responsible bidder. Uh, to the solicitation, and they're the ones that we've worked with in the past. Uh, Melissa, is there anything you want to add about Kent or? Um, no, they've been very easy to work with. I know Linda can contribute to that um, as well. But um, they were the only bidder, and they're willing to work with us. We have a very short deadline now to try to get our application in. So it only makes sense. And the application, uh, the letter of intent to apply needs to be submitted by April 30th. Um, which is Saturday. So um, once we have the awarding of the bid for Kent, we'll go ahead and submit that letter of intent on behalf of uh, Park Hill. Um, any questions or comments from any members of the board? Could I have a motion to award the uh, bid to Housing Development Team LLC for the projects outlined by um, Linda? 
Maury D'Souza will make that motion. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second it. Motion made by Marie, seconded by Sarah. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? So carried. Uh, our next item of business is public participation. Are there any members of the public who would like to address the board? I'll first ask if there's anybody here in the room and then give anybody online an opportunity. We're all set, thanks. All right, is there anybody online who would like to address the members of the board? Seeing none and with no further business to come before the board, a motion to adjourn would be in order. I'll move, so move that we adjourn. Second. second. Motion made by Sarah, seconded by Alan. It's not debatable. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned at 1038.